here then. Okay, so I've, I've finished this and... Uh, Are you sure? Well, I'm never sure. This is the original one. This was proof of concept that I could actually fit what I wanted to do inside the tube. This one is the finished article. Where this one differs is that we've got these pulleys on. They can turn on and off, whereas this proof of concept only really can turn it on. I found the program that I, I wrote for uh, that Nano, and I've put it on here, and I'm just gonna switch it on and see whether it works for the first time. So this is the wires that will come out, and they'll go to a little sliding connector on the outside of the rocket, and then that will go off to our unit, uh, which is a radio controlled relay system that will just close a relay on it and set the whole thing going. So inside there, we've, I've just put an LED to simulate an ignition source. The main difference here is the pulley sizes. Um, they had to be this size to fit inside um, because in there is a 650 PSI ball valve and this is a 1000 PSI ball valve, which was deeper. So everything had to be squeezed even tighter. But because we had to go for smaller pulleys, I'm using the full sweep of a servo. Well, it's actually just under 180 degrees because uh, apparently it's well known that servos don't actually go to 180 degrees. They go sometimes to 178 or 175 even. So I've had to build that into it in the ratio between this pulley and that pulley. I haven't done the full open up yet. I'm still using this program. So this is merely to see whether the servos with this pulley system will actually work this 1000 PSI ball valve, which is a little bit stiffer than that one. So what are we looking out for when you do this test? What we're looking out for is this to move forwards and backwards and for an ignition source to be sent up, up to here. Basically, I'll show you what happens on this one and it's the same program running. Switching on, slight movement there, ignition there, and full throttle. So that's what program is running on this. The full throttle on here, I need to reprogram, put different numbers in because we've got a different ratio and I need to go the full 180 whereas I'm only going to, I think, 85 degrees to get to get the uh, necessary deflection on that. And it's just proving that these actually work because I've, I've built the thing and I don't even know whether it will operate. What happens is that uh, signal being sent, me pressing this button is the activation of that signal. Slight movement, that's good. Ignition, that's good. And full throttle, that's good. It works brilliant, uh, very happy with that. It will reset itself. Oh, which is great. So it works, perfect. And then this is a, as a test program is designed to reset itself. And it goes right back and sets it. So these work really well. So you don't think you're going to have to make any tweaks on that at all? No. So I'm just going to alter the program on, on this. And as you can see, the ball valve is in that plane, which is off. And the program here, if you look, begins on the void loop, uh, position zero, which is that position just there and it will move to 25, that's 25 degrees. And it'll delay 15 milliseconds uh, just to allow it to get to that position. And then I've put in a two second delay, that's for the chamber to flood with oxygen. And then digitally writing the, the pin 
low on the relay uh, switches it on because it works on a pin low and I delay four seconds there but this is the thing I have to get right now so I'm picking up on the servo position of 25 where it left it just there and I want to move the throttle to fully open so I'm going to start with 180 degrees and what I'm looking for is a 90 degree movement of this so I want that blue line there to be vertical that's the ball valve fully open so I... you're actually reprogramming one of the nanos at the moment yeah okay we're uploading that now yeah that's done so it's got this new value set in so what we're watching is where this ball valve ends up that's the main alteration so it's starting there this movement is the low pressure oxygen creeping in the chamber that's pretty good we'll leave it at that wow that is good and then that should reset. Cool. That's a servo. Yeah. That's the type of motor, if you like, that is driving the ball valve. It's the correlation between what angle you told that to move, and you want to get that moving 90 from 0 to 90. And to be fair, by coming smaller, we get more torque delivered. So it's a good thing. Bloody good, it worked first time. Bloody amazing really, isn't it? I mean, when you see it, it's complex. Yeah. Bloody worked first time. Oh, let's watch it again. <laughs>